Coach Troy, the shooting coach, what we want to work on now is we want to work on your capacity to see the ball into your hands. As a shooter, whether we're moving without the ball or we have the ball in our hands, we want to work on picking that ball up. Off the dribble, we call that your pickup point. Or if I'm looking to get it from a teammate, what I want to do is show them their hands and get it right in that pocket. So what we want to do is to practice that is when I'm moving on the floor, I want to show my teammate where I want to receive that ball. So when I'm cutting, sticking my hand up, I'm not just saying throw me the ball. As a shooter, I'm prepping myself. I want to have my hands ready, so once it hits my pocket right here, again, I'm slightly above parallel, once it hits my pocket, I'm right into my shot and shoot. So just as a demonstration, I got my footwork set, so I'm showing him where I want it, comes right in that pocket. So see that nice pass, slightly above parallel. So from here then, this is my pickup point, or showing my teammate the pocket I want him to show it in, throw it in. So now that I'm here at the pickup point, what I want to do is I want to go into my lift path, to my lift point, from my lift point through my release path, and then the release point at the top to the follow through. So again, just a little demo. So I'm showing my teammate where I want it, right there in the pocket, up and through, nothing but net. So same thing would apply if it's a bounce pass. If he's throwing a bounce pass, I'm looking to get it slightly above parallel. So when you're playing, when you're playing pickup or playing with your teammates, as you move, you're working to show your teammate right where you want it, let it come right in that pocket, hands ready, and you're up into your shot. So what I want you to do is I want you to work on those elements of Showing your teammate your hands, even if it's a dribble, you're taking it off the dribble into that pickup point, which is going to be slightly above parallel, but we're set here so then you can swing into your shooting rhythm, put the ball right in the basket. So work on those elements, and we'll come back next time and we'll show you some different components that you can work on building your shooting capacity.